Hello and welcome to the challenge that I challenge myself with to wipe up and hard sync to bring you videos and shorts that hopefully take us all to wipe up and hard sync so the first topic I want to explore with you today is about mapping it's about mapping within and beyond we live in a world that is labeled that expects us to subscribe and to express ourselves in a certain way in a certain identity in a culture in achievement and all these maybe got quite good things but as we are mapping within something is changing so today I want to look at that within what is within within is not what's inside that physical body within is our heart is our soul is our spirit is the one that has chosen this body to to live to experience and to express it this time so how do we do it well there are three easy ways to do it one is to meditate and especially the meditation that doesn't take you out but within one of the easiest ways is really the heart meditation as I call it and it's very simple you just put your hand on your heart and you breathe in and if you want to close your eyes you close your eyes and if you don't then you don't but you breathe in to your heart it's beyond the heart chakra it's not your physical heart and yet it's not separate so you breathe into your heart and you allow your heart to open you allow yourself to connect to your heart and so let me demonstrate it so we know what we're talking about so you inhaling into your heart find that smile too and you exhale and you inhale allow yourself to feel that spark that light in your heart and as you exhale allow it to expand so notice for a while this beautiful heart light then inhale again and open the chambers of your heart imagine but you don't have to the lower heart that is the human the 3d the higher heart that's the 5d the consciousness where we are going and then inhale again to your cosmic heart this is the connection to the divine, to the sacred, to your origin. And just continue breathing. Just continue making that connection. Open eyes or closed eyes. Whatever feels good. If in the hammock or not. Just enjoy that breath into the architecture and the three chambers of your heart breathing in and exhaling connecting within to your light in the heart and to your three chambers more you're breathing into each of them you notice they're all connected just different expressions different experiences and you can wipe up and heart sing
and just come back. Another way to connect within is actually in nature. When you open your eyes to the wonder of nature, not the fear, not the danger, not the idea of what you would like to change and how to control it and how to get the resources. But if you are just are in nature, just bring your presence to the presence of life. Every stone, every rock, every tree, every grass, every animal is life. All is connected, all is alive, and all flows in a harmony that actually we cannot comprehend. So if you have a chance, go in nature. You will discover your own presence without the identity, without the rat race, without the labels, without the conditions, just you. Even beyond your body, and yet not without it. And when you enter this harmony in nature, you are also entering within. So these are the two easiest way. I also love self-inquiry, Ramana Maharashi, which also is meditating, breathing into the heart, coming into the stillness within, expanding to the stillness and wonder around you, the seen and the unseen and the divine. If you have any other ideas how you can connect within, let me know in the comments below. Now where is the map? We are so used to plan and think about what comes next. The map is not that. The map is just the opportunity, the potential that you have being here within. It opens up the space and lets you see where you could go. It's like the nexus points that are coming to you, the points that you can't really avoid, but by the choice that you make, you're opening the infinite potential of what it can be. So this is the kind of map that I'm talking about. So thank you for being here today. First day of the challenge. How does it feel for you? Did you get any value? Did you learn something? How does it resonate with you beyond my words? Looking forward to hear about that. Yes, I love when you subscribe. Not to get more subscribers, but to get an audience that actually vibes with us in the heart and in this amazing time that we're all experiencing together. So thank you and see you tomorrow. <laughs>